starting at Nightline, uh, I had met with Chad, and we had clearly, he decided that it had hit it off, and, I, and, and at the end of it, I, uh, in one meeting, it's hard to figure out whether you're going to be that good, but we really walked away saying, this could be pretty neat. So the next thing was, was meeting with Rune Arledge, uh, and we went to Arledge's favorite restaurant and had a long, good lunch and in the course of a talk very casually and uh, at the end of it it was clear that Rune was very skeptical and said, you know, you have not told me what you would do with this broadcast. I mean, you haven't given me a plan, you haven't given me a direction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And my answer that is very much what I believe is, look, there is no way that I can tell you what I can do with this broadcast. I haven't met any of the people who are on the broadcast. I don't know what turns them on. I don't know what makes them excited. I mean, what I'm going to do with this broadcast is figure out who the best people are on the broadcast. If there are people who are not uh, pulling their weight, they won't stay on the broadcast, but the people who love the broadcast, and I think that seems to be a lot of them, find out what they love, and we're going to put on the air what they, what they love to do, and if we do that, it'll be a great broadcast. And I guess Rune thought that was an acceptable answer because I got the job. Uh, and basically what an executive producer does is what I said a producer does. The executive producer is the mortar, that you try to put as many good bricks in a row and let them do what they're going to do, and then you figure out what the holes are, and you're the mortar that goes into that. Uh, but, but to a degree, uh, it is the producer's job to make it work. And <laughs> strangely enough, that is, uh, that is the whole job of the executive producer, and, you, and, and your job is to spot who needs encouragement, who needs uh, being told you got to do this better, uh, what resources aren't there, and you know, and make it happen. And I, you know, I think the only uh, the the first obligation of the executive producer is to love what he or she is doing, because if the boss doesn't believe in it, love it, get excited about it, nobody else will. And the second major obligation is to say thank you to people when they do, the, when they do it well. And if you do those two things, uh, if you have good people, they take care of themselves.